Jim from Field Hockey Education. In today's coaching video, we'll be working on a nice little 1v1 defense drill. In this drill, you as a defender will learn how to defend in a 1v1 situation by forcing your player wide for a bad shot on goal or making a good tackle in a 1v1 situation. Where as an attacker, you will learn how to eliminate that one defender so that you can get the best possible angle to take a shot at goal. I hope this video will help you in your next training session. Thank you for watching this video and let's go. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video. With this 1v1 defense draw, um, player one will be the defender in this scenario. You as a coach, you can double up. If you have more players, you can double up on the cones to make it a smooth uh, transition. So if this side is done, then they can just start uh, automatically on the other side. But how it will work is player two will pass the ball to player one. Player one will receive and pass the ball back to player two. As soon as player one passes the ball back to player two, player one needs to put pressure on player two to force player two to pass the ball to player three. If player one just decides to go to player three because that's what the exercise do, player one in a game situation can just drive straight into the circle and take a shot. So this whole thing about the 1v1 drill is to try and force the guy on the ball to pass it to the guy that's not in a great position on the field. So player one will then put pr pressure on player two so that player two can pass the ball to player three. As soon as that happens, player two, oh, sorry, player one will then be in this little space over here because they put pressure on player two, but then they will put side pressure on player three trying to try to stay with player three hip to hip and trying to force player three into this area of the circle to make the shot better for the keeper to save they need to try and defend it where the player three doesn't go infield so it doesn't cut infield so that they can have a shot there but rather try and keep them on this side so that can actually get to a phase where they can take a shot here. Because you as a defender, you can back your keeper to take a shot from this angle rather than taking a shot over here. You don't want player one to face player three head on because then they have two options to get past them. So they can go this way or they can go that way. Where now if player one engage them from this side they eliminate that inside tuck ball so they need to force them to go out wide as soon as this is done then player two will become the defender the next player in line will become the guy that passes or the girl that passes passes to player two player two passes back so they will pass it back and then from here they will pass it this way and exactly the same is going to happen on this side. Player two then needs to try and force them in that direction so that they can take a reverse stick shot on an angle where the keeper is most comfortable. Not try to get them infield so it can be easy for this player to take a front stick shot with two options to, to aim at. Where over here, if they force them on the reverse, they can only have one option to go and they can force that that attacking player to hit it on the back of their sticks or maybe hit it over the goal because they didn't time it right because there was too much pressure on but from there you as a defender you need to try and defend as much as possible so that you can force these players into these areas for a bad shot so the keeper can be most comfortable with that shot with an 
a progression that you can do is you as a coach after this, let's say player one and player three, after they took a shot, you as a coach can throw in another ball. So you can throw in another ball and then they will play 1v1. Whoever gets the ball first. So the attacker, uh, will if he gets the ball or she gets the ball, they can attack towards the goal. If the defender gets the ball inside the circle, so if they get the, the second ball inside the circle, they just need to dribble the ball over the five dotted line. If they get the ball outside this 25 area, they need to try and dribble the ball over the 25 line. So the only way that the, this little game stops after the second ball is thrown in is either goals being scored or the ball goes out of play. With progression three, after the second ball has been played out, the third ball can be then, the player that's standing on this cone will be the next player to pass him the ball, but they, what whatever player is first, player one or player three, they need to post up outside the circle so that player two can pass them the ball and then from there they can play the 1v1 and then both of these players can then try and score inside the circle or inside and try and score so if player one picks it up and they get into the circle they can score or if player three takes off the ball they can score towards the goal So that was the nice little 1v1 defense drill that you can do with your players. As you can see, there's a lot of phases that you can go through with this drill to make your players work hard for the ball and also a nice little bit of fitness as well in this 1v1 drill. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.